The Football Story 2030 presents a football myth. Lorenzo Buffon, born in Maggiano on December 19, 1929, is a former Italian footballer, playing as a goalkeeper. Buffon, nicknamed Tanaglia for the grip his hands imposed on the ball when saving it, was primarily a skilled goalkeeper, capable of combining effectiveness and spectacularity in his interventions, showing an excellent sense of placement. Growing up football-wise first in the oratory of Latisana as a midfielder, it was the priest of the oratory who suggested he play in goal, he was later promoted to the first team of Latisana, having as his mentor a former goalkeeper of Udinese, Ramiro Gramis. In 1948, he was called up by Porto Gruerries in the Promotion League. With Porto Gruerries, he played his last match against San Dona, bitterly losing the return match for Serie C. He arrived at Milan, thanks to his coach at Porto Gruerries, Felice Arienti. His greatest mentor in Milan was Nils Leidholm. After four months of apprenticeship as the fourth goalkeeper, he surpassed the competition, Rossetti, Milanese, and Bardelli, becoming an immovable starter. He made his Serie A debut very young with Milan against Sampdoria, winning 5-1, on January 15, 1950. In the 1949-1950 season, he quickly became a starter, winning his first Italian title the following year, 44 years after Milan's last victory, and the Latin Cup, at the time recognized as the most prestigious club competition in Europe. He thus became the goalkeeper of the great Milan of the 1950s, made famous by the Giarinoli trio. Established as a cornerstone of the team, he also won league titles in the seasons from 1954 to 1959 and another Latin Cup in 1956, although in the last years he played inconsistently, alternating with the second goalkeeper, Narciso Soldan. His last match with Milan was on September 16, 1959, in Milan against Como, in the Coppa Italia, lost 0-1. He concluded his experience with Milan with 300 appearances, becoming one of the goalkeepers with the most appearances for Milan, surpassed only by Sebastiano Rossi with 330 games played. He moved to Genoa in 1959 in an exchange with Giorgio Ghezzi, making his debut against Udinese on November 8, 1959, 2-2. His last match with Genoa was against Palermo, 1-1, saving a penalty in the last second. Genoa finished the season in 18th place, relegated to Serie B, also affected by the Capello case. He returned to Milan, this time to Inter, in the 1960-1961 season, where he remained for three seasons, playing 90 matches. He also mentored Jacinto Facchetti. Due to frequent muscle injuries, he was often replaced by the second goalkeeper, the elderly but famous Ottavio Bugatti. On March 3, 1963, at the end of the match against Atlanta, lost by Inter 0-1, Inter's president Moratti entered the dressing room and took charge, imposing the use of Ottavio Bugatti instead of Buffon. Despite this, he managed to win another league title in 1963, effectively opening the cycle of the Grande Inter. He then moved to Fiorentina, with Giuliano Sardi, completing the reverse journey by transferring to Inter. Shut out by the emerging Enrico Albertosi, he only played the last match of the season against Bari, lost 0-2. In 1965, he moved to Ivrea in Serie C, playing 11 matches. At the end of the season, he moved to Martina, where he remained until 1969, ending his career at the age of 40. At the international level, before being called up to the Italian national team, he was called up by FIFA in 1955 to defend the goal of the rest of Europe in a friendly against Great Britain played in Belfast and ending 4-1 for Buffon and his teammates. Before then, the only Italian goalkeeper called up for such a match was Aldo Olivieri. In 1951, Buffon made his debut in the under-21 national team, collecting six appearances. From 1953 to 1958, he made three appearances in the B national team. On November 9, 1958, he received his first call-up to the A national team, against France led by Just Fontaine, who had recently been the top scorer at the World Cup. He was the first goalkeeper from Milan to wear the national team's blue jersey, excluding Attilio Trer, who had replaced Innocenti in goal in 1913 due to injury. He quickly earned the starting spot and the captain's armband. 
He played as a starter in the 1962 World Cup, the only Inter player to be called up. His last match in blue was on June 7, 1962, Italy-Switzerland, ending 3-0. After the disappointing expedition to Chile, he lost his place in the national team, in favor of Giuliano Sardi and Enrico Albertosi. In the blue jersey, he made 15 appearances, six of which as captain. At the individual level, he is considered one of the best goalkeepers in the history of Italian football and has been inducted into the Milan Hall of Fame. Finally, it is worth noting his marriage in 1958 to Eddie Campagnoli, the TV hostess who worked alongside Mike Bongiorno in the presentation of Lascia o Rodapia. Thank you for choosing our channel. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe, like, and leave a comment. Your engagement is our source of energy. Thank you.